What's up, YouTube? We back on the Regal. And in this video, <clears throat> we're going to do a lot of teardown. Go ahead and take the interior out. Go ahead and take the motor and transmission out. You know, I said in the last video that we haven't had any ideas or we don't know what we're going to do with it. So the past, however long it's been, we've been going over ideas about everything from bucket seats to bench seats and everything. So we're gonna be, I'm gonna show you guys the color that we're gonna go with and we're gonna take out the motor. We are gonna LS swap it and we're gonna take out the interior all in this video. But first I'm gonna show you guys the color. It's the color I made it. Y'all do know this car is being built for a female. See if I can get different. That's a good light right there. I'm trying to show different lights. I think this other one's gonna be the best light. Kind of show it off. But yep, that's the color we're gonna go. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, push the car in and start taking the motor out. Then we start gutting out the interior. And we'll probably start on blocking the body down then. So, all right, see y'all next clip. All right, y'all, we got the Regal in. We started tearing it down. I got the back glass out. I got all the old seats out that they had. Middle console out. Chrome trim out, the chrome trim to go up in here is out. Got it up on jack stand to go ahead and snatch the motor out. Got all the chrome trim around the headlights out. Time for you to shave, my boy. Got that George Jefferson going on. Yeah. Hold that side. Glass out on this side, trim out on this side. We'll take the tail lights out, chrome bumpers off tomorrow, chrome trim around here. I gotta get another tub. Put all the parts in. I gotta get another one. Going back and forth of how I'm gonna do the body work. Oh, I gotta get the door handles out, key locks out. I don't know if I'm gonna sandblast it to the metal. I don't really know. I'm gonna try to block it down and see how good. It's a lot of waves on it. On that quarters, y'all can see like right up in there. It's wavy as hell. So. But in order to do the sandblasting, you know, I'm gonna take the windshield out since it's already cracked. I'm gonna take the dashboard out. Since it's been wrapped before, I'm gonna rewrap it. So, but yeah, that's where we at YouTube. We'll finish it up tomorrow. Hopefully, maybe the motor be out tomorrow. We'll see. And uh, finish stripping it on down. Y'all see we've been going over how we're gonna do the interior. I think we're gonna do maybe this right here with this color stitching, the deep lilac. But I can't, I don't have a, I like doing suede headliners, it looks good. But I don't have a suede color that goes good with that fabric. So, really trying to figure out what we're gonna do as far as the interior wise. But that's where we at. I see where we at as far as the car. 
see what we're trying to come up with on the interior if you guys got any ideas for the interior comment below which y'all think would go good with this color so i'm really stuck between a brown i mean a tan a cream you know so y'all give me y'all ideas below what y'all think so we probably won't have it figured out why this video is done but see some of you guys ideas uh, we'll go from there so all right y'all see y'all in the next clip all right youtube as y'all can see from the last clip from yesterday we ain't get nothing done that i said we was gonna do as far as taking the bumpers off and start taking the motor out but we did start blocking on the bodywork. I want to see if I can, if we can get the body straight without having to strip it to the metal. Because whoever painted it before already stripped it because it's only one layer. Well, look like it's been painted once. So you got the purple, you got like a burgundy. Then you got the primer, then you got the metal. So it looked like it's only been painted once. So it looked like it was originally burgundy. So it hasn't been painted multiple times. So I'm hoping that we can block it back straight with what's on here. And if we can't, then we'll strip it. But we are definitely stripping the roof. We already started that. Uh, we're stripping it with 36 grit. So, we got some high spots right here. So, we definitely stripping the roof. But we're going to see if we can take this long block right here and block it straight and get them waves out. And if they don't come out with the block, then we're just going to go ahead and strip it to the metal because we are trying to take this car to almost every show every low rider show that's around particularly we got one in atlanta that we trying to go it's another low rider show in dallas it's another one in tampa florida so it's about three or four of them that we're going to try to make but i believe is one of them in march that i know for a fact we won't be able to make but we're going to try to attend the show but i don't think this car will be ready in march but we'll see sorry right, youtube that's where we at man we'll get back to blocking this thing down or taking the bumpers off or taking the motor out whatever we do between now and the next clip what's up youtube we back on the regal it's been a couple of days since you guys seen the last clip. It's actually Sunday, January 14th. And I came up here to do some work on the Regal and my buddy's uh, Malibu. Finishing up the frame notch on his car. Um, you probably already seen that video or you might be seeing the video next. Not sure what order these videos will be uploaded. So, but you guys get it. Uh, got the gasket kit for the Regal. If you guys don't remember, I said I was on LS swap the Regal. Um, it had a V6 in it. The V6 ran good, but I want to make the car more modern, more reliable for her, and less maintenance. And um, and I felt like LS swapping it would be the best route to go. I got a 4.8 with a 4060 transmission, and that's what this gasket kit is for. Um, we got a complete gasket kit. The head gasket, intake gasket, valve cover gasket, um, time and chain cover gasket. I mean, every single thing to freshen up that motor. Not sure if we're going to go with a cam. I'll figure that out once um, once we get it tore down. Right now, we're still in the truck. And um, we'll be getting that out pretty soon. We do have the motor out the Regal. Um, 
like I said, I was coming up here to work on the Regal, and one of the things I was going to do was pressure wash the engine bay, degrease it, and pressure wash it, so we can go start go ahead and prepping it for paint. But out of nowhere, it started raining on me. I'm mean, well snowing on me. I figured it was gonna come later on tonight, but it came a little early, so won't be pressure washing the engine bay. So once the weather gets a little bit better, we'll do that. But I will show you guys that the motor is out. Show you guys that in the next clip. Who is cold? All right, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all this real quick. All right, so we got the motor out. They actually they already reinforced the frame down the side, and they also reinforced this cross member where the engine sits too so i believe the engine is going to sit a little higher than what it normally does which is okay with me because i'm going with the car intake anyway so but they've already reinforced the frame on the sides and on top so now i gotta order some clamshell mounts and some dirty dingo mounts and that way when i get through cleaning all of this off I can weld the mounts on and then I can paint the engine bay uh, another thing is this inner fender liner is cracked man I've been trying my best to find these damn fender liners but they are crazy high like $800 for a set so this the only one is cracked so I think I'm gonna repair this one and go ahead and uh get it all ready for paint so yep. once the weather gets better we'll start back on it yeah. see y'all the next clip one eternity later all right you two finally got the work truck in the building gonna go ahead and get this motor taken out so we can get it in the regal well tear it down freshen it up then put it in the regal. So we gotta get it out, put it on the engine stand. And then we're gonna push the work truck, old work truck on death row. So soon as my slow assistant get here with the tools, we're gonna start tearing it down. So see y'all in a minute. We're gonna take the whole radiator support out. Um, condenser old radiator support so we can just pull the motor straight out so all right see y'all when we get ready to tear this thing down all right you too got it all tore down we got the intake out so we just gotta disconnect the cross member for the trans disconnect the dry shaft do the motor mounts on the side we pulling it out so that's where we at we're gonna do that tomorrow. See y'all tomorrow. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. All right, YouTube. So we're gonna take a take a small little intermission on pulling that motor out. To let you guys decide on what color y'all think would be good on the Regal. This was the original color. It's like a pinkish. But then went with this purple. Then this green. And then this peachy orange. Sorry, y'all. Y'all come in below. And what color y'all think will look good on the on the Regal? My vote is the green. I love the green only because of the pictures that I'm about to show you guys. So. Check these pictures out. Well, as a matter of fact, I just put them right there in the corner, right there. So 
That's the reason why I'm shooting for that green. But y'all tell me what y'all think. All right, let's get back to the motor. Several days later. All right, you two. Finally got the car back in the building. It's been outside um, since it was snowing. Um, she done narrowed it down to these two colors, this green and this purple. You know, I'm leaning more towards the green. She's stuck between the two. But you guys tell me what you think. The green or the purple? Also, I think I'm going to go ahead and break it all the way down. Take the fenders off. Take the front cap off. And give it a full color change paint job. Because they put purple everywhere. And I've been trying to find these inner fenders. I can't find them to save my life. But my new body guy who just started about a month ago. Um, he can plastic weld. So he said that he can weld it all back together. Swipe it and make it look like it never was cracked. So that's going to be the goal for this one. So. Well, Alright you two. Let's go ahead and get this motor out man. And uh. Get it broken down. I am going to do. I'm doing this one a little different. I am going to paint the block. Whichever color she decides. I am going to paint the block the same color. She picks the green. I'm going to paint the block the green. Or if she picks the purple. I'm going to paint the block the purple. Just want everything to be. You know. Up to par. Because. You got to come good man. You got to come. Got to come correct. When you start going to them low rider shows man. They dump a lot of. Money into them cars a lot of time and a lot of money but this is not going to be one of those 100 percent show cars we're not fixing to chrome out the whole entire suspension or gold plate the whole entire suspension she wants to be able to drive her car during the week if she wants to jump in and drive it to work two days a week jump in it on a sunday and take it to the park or take it to a car show or hit three-wheel motion turning at the red light that's what this car is for it's a driver show car so well, all right let's get this motor out hi youtube got the drive shaft out got the front on jack stands uh i got the jack i got one more boat to get out the cross member i'm gonna push the jack well two boats i got one on each side put the jack to hold the transmission up so I can take the boats out but first I got to take out the motor mount boat and I gotta go get some damn sawzall blades to cut the exhaust I forgot all about the damn exhaust so go ahead and take out the motor mount boats run to Harbor Freight get some sawzall blades and hopefully we can take this thing on out so be back What's up, you two? Well, we got the motor out. Uh, I had to call some some help up here, man. So my boy, Big Ernest. Shout out to my boy, Big Ernest. He came. Uh, I called. I texted him. Man, ten minutes. He pulled up and uh, helped me get this motor out. So we got it out. We made a big ass mess, but we got it out. It ain't nothing but some. Some oil dry and the pressure washer ain't gonna clean up. But uh hey, we got it out. So there we go. We got the motor sitting over here, got the engine stand. I couldn't find my bolts for the engine to mount the engine to the stand. So I'm gonna do that in the next video. Um, I'm gonna find some bolts, take apart the transmission, and then mount it to the stand and I'm gonna start tearing it down so all right you two that's the end of part two video we done went through two two seasons started out in the winter and now we in the spring and finally got the motor out so this video been going on for a long time so time to go ahead and end it get it uploaded so you guys can see it and part three will start with breaking the engine down getting it freshened up painting the engine painting the engine bay on the regal 
and installing the engine and we're gonna do all that in part three so stay tuned subscribe and see what i do next oh yeah and before before i go i need a ls1 car intake if any one of my subscribers got an ls1 car intake with the fuel rails man send me a text message my phone number is below 901-270-0352 send me a text and let me know how much you want for it you'll ship it if you're not too far away i come get it but looking for an ls1 car intake i've been all over marketplace um the ones i found is without fuel rails and they won't price as high as giraffes ass so but anyway if you got one send me a text message give me a call let me know how much you want for it and we'll go from there all right subscribe and see what i do next